Now more on that dramatic wrong way crash on the upper levels highway in West Vancouver yesterday. Tonight we are hearing from one of the drivers hit by the camper van and how he narrowly dodged disaster. CTV's Ben Milger has more on how the wrong way driver may have entered the freeway on an off ramp. A horrific scene with mangled metal, debris and possessions strewn everywhere and six people injured, two of them critically. There's a lot of glass that like exploded in our faces when our mouths and stuff. Quentin Spence managed to escape serious injury, swerving at the last second to avoid a direct head-on collision with a camper van going west in the eastbound lanes of the upper levels highway. Like I had like literally like a second to just react and turn to the right and they still caught the tail end of us and then we just went flying through the air. We were literally flipping. The car came to rest on its wheels, facing the wrong direction. The driver of this truck swerved to avoid the camper but wound up going down an embankment. The RV then hit this red car head on, coming to a rest on top of it. Police have not revealed which off-ramp the wrong way driver may have used to enter the freeway. But the closest one to the crash site is here at 22nd Street and is very clearly marked with do not enter signs. It's not the first time this has happened on this stretch. In 2014, a van went east in the westbound lanes, hitting several other vehicles and also sending six to hospital, including a toddler who required surgery. At the time, police said they believed the van driver was impaired. West Van police have not said if they believe that is the case this time with the woman in her 20s behind the wheel of the camper van. It's early on in the investigation and we're hoping to determine um, the cause and all of that. A cannabis plant could be seen amongst the debris and police carefully examined this bag in the shape of a stuffed giraffe and whatever is in this glass jar. I asked him myself, I was like, was she under the, inf under the influence? So far, police have not told him if they believe that's the reason the driver could have missed signs like these, causing all this mayhem and injury. Ben Milger, CTV News, West Vancouver.